Today we're going to talk about deer hunting with a shotgun and hopefully give you a better idea of how accurate slugs can be in relation to the vital area of a deer. Now if you're new to hunting, got a super secret tip I'm going to drop at the end of this video, something that very seldom do you ever hear hunters actually talk about. Hey crew, it's Chris with Clover Tack and welcome back to the channel. For those new here, we talk about all things firearm related. So if you're into that sort of thing, jump down and smash that subscribe button while you're there. If you want to keep up with the most current content, go ahead and click that notification bell as well. Now my apologies ahead of time for any distractions or interference. Today it is particularly windy. Now for our testing today, I'm going to be using the brand new Rock Island Armory All Generations 12 gauge pump shotgun. It's got a smooth bore barrel, I'm going to be using an improved cylinder choke and that's usually the choke of my choice when I'm using slugs. Now today I'm going to be using three different types of slugs and we'll talk individually about the specifics of those slugs here a little bit later on. For now, going to post some targets from our good friends at Outdoor Products Plus 40 yards down range, making sure that I mark those targets for each of the three different types of slugs we're going to be taking a look at. Let's load up this shotgun from Rock Island Armory with three Winchester slugs and we'll get started. Now these slugs are going to be the Winchester Super X 2 and 3 quarter inch 1 ounce rifled hollow point lead slugs boy that was a mouthful running at about 1600 feet per second velocity which comes out to roughly about 2460 foot pounds of energy delivered into the target for reference the 308 winchester and 30-06 springfield rifle cartridges pack about the same amount of energy you may ask well how can that be they're obviously a smaller projectile than a 12 gauge slug and that's because the difference is made up by the higher velocities of those rifle cartridges enough blabbering already safety first got my eyes on gonna put my ears in we're gonna get this party started put a few rounds down range Here we are down range taking a look at the big holes left in this paper target by those Winchester slugs. Measuring center to center on this three shot group we come up with a group size of roughly three inches. Not bad in my opinion from what I consider cheap slugs through a smoothbore shotgun at 40 yards. Now let's move on and load some specialty slugs into this shotgun and see what they'll do. What I've got here are some monolit 28 one ounce steel slugs going to be from a company, hope I'm pronouncing this right, called Duplex. And these one ounce steel slugs from Duplex going to be running a velocity of about 1,460 feet a second, which should be delivering about 2,070 foot-pounds of energy. Back down range, taking a look at the target right away, we can tell that these lead-free specialty slugs did seem to do a little bit better as far as group than those cheap Winchester slugs. Again, measuring center to center, I come up with a group size of about two inches, and I'll take that group size for a smoothbore shotgun and slugs all day long, even at 40 yards. Before we continue with taking a look at that third type of slug, want to look at today and before we get to that super secret tip for all the new and aspiring hunters out there a quick question of the day jump down in the comments below and let us know do you do any type of hunting with a shotgun and if you do what type of shotgun do you use now it's time to load up the shotgun with another specialty slug these are also from that company duplex called the hexalit 32 they are one and an eighth ounce expanding slug these are also going to be a steel slug running at a velocity of about 1,400 feet a second, which comes out to roughly 
2,130 foot-pounds of energy. Now, it's going to be more energy than the slugs we took a look at just a second ago. And you may be wondering why, even though the velocity on the Hexalit 32 slugs here is less velocity, that eighth of an ounce more on the weight of that slug does make a difference when it comes to energy. Downrange now, taking a look at the shots on the target from those Hexalit 32 slugs. And while the group's not quite as good as those Monolith 28 slugs, very similar in size to those cheap Winchester slugs. Measuring center from center, this group comes out to be again about three inches in size. So with those specialty Hexalit 32 slugs from Duplex performing similar to the cheap Winchester slugs, you may be asking, why would you want to spend the extra money on the specialty slugs? Well, first of all, steel instead of lead. So if there's some type of restriction in the area that you're hunting in, that may be required. And remember that the Hexalet slug is also an expanding slug. So as far as the terminal performance on that game animal, it's going to be a little bit better. Now, as promised, here is the super secret tip of the day for all those new and aspiring hunters out there. You hear hunters all the time, firearm owners in general, talk about MOA and accuracy and tight groups and all of that kind of stuff the dirty little secret is the vital area on most game animals is quite large when we're talking about a white-tailed deer we're talking about a vital area in the at least six to seven inch range and whether we're talking 40 yards as we shot today we're talking 100 yards even 200 yards six or seven inches is a huge area so while you're out there practicing for that hunting trip, make sure that you're not so focused on putting shots in the same hole, but rather just getting shots into an area the size of the battle area for the game animal that you're hunting. That way you can take that animal in the most ethical and humane way possible. Remember, as always, if you have any questions or just want to contribute to the conversation, you can always do that down in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching, and until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.